According to the American Cancer Society, colon cancer is the second most common cause of cancer death in the U.S. for both men and women. March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and we're joined live now by Dr. Suhail Salem, Medical Director of Gastroenterology at Dignity Health Northridge. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is such an important topic. I think, you know, as someone in their 40s now, it's something you don't really want to talk about or think about. But the guidelines have changed, and now at 45 instead of 50, there's the recommendation that people should get colonoscopies. Absolutely. Uh, we have seen a steady increase in the rates of colon cancer since the 1990s in people under the age of 50, and that has led to now, uh, if, you, if you were born in 1990, you have double the lifetime colon cancer risk as somebody born in 1950. Do we know why this is? We don't yet know f fully why this is. There's a lot of research into this area. Um, we Best we can say right now is probably multifactorial. There's diet and lifestyle factors that contribute. We have an increasingly sedentary lifestyle, which is a risk, which is a risk factor. Uh, our diet is low in fiber, um, and uh, we eat too much processed meat, smoking, and alcohol. These are all risk factors. But there may be something even beyond that that we have yet to identify. Now, as someone, this runs in my family, so I'm somebody who's gone in even earlier at 40 to get my first colonoscopy. People are so afraid of getting them. I loved the nap. Yeah. I'm, I'm here to say a great nap. Yeah. But, you know, for people who are a little bit nervous about going to get a colonoscopy, there are other options now available. Right, right. Colonoscopy has kind of the, been around for a while. It's the best single step method for screening and prevention because we're able to remove precancerous polyps during the colonoscopy to prevent colon cancer. But for those people either who don't have access or are unwilling to do a colonoscopy, we have at home stool testing. And it is as simple as online shopping and returning. You know, you basically get a kit sent to your home, you mail it back to them. Uh, if it's positive, then you need to have a colonoscopy. If it's negative, you do it every three years. But this is, and I didn't realize it was so high. You said 92 percent uh, that, yeah. that it can check things out. I think, I think that's changed, hasn't it? That's gotten better. Yes, this is a relatively newer stool test. It's a multi-target stool DNA test. Uh, that came out several years ago and uh, is about 92 percent sensitive for detecting colon cancers. So uh, better than kind of the old school ones that would just check for microscopic amounts of blood. You know, I, it's one of the, these topics that people don't like talking about. It makes them uncomfortable. But we have seen even famous stars. You had Christy Alley who died of colon cancer. You had Chadwick Boseman die of colon cancer. And these are relatively younger people. Yeah. So this is something that people need to be concerned about. Are there what are the causes for concern? If I'm sitting at home and, and maybe something has developed, what, what should I okay. be looking out for? Well, of course, anytime you have symptoms, uh, rectal bleeding, changes in bowel habits, abdominal pains, you should talk to your doctor. But I think the message I really want to get out there is, you know, this is the number one cause of cancer-related death in men under the age of 50, number two in women under the age of 50. <laughs> and we have all the tools we need to beat this cancer. It entirely depends on early detection, which means getting checked before you have symptoms. Uh, if you get diagnosed with colon cancer after symptoms have developed, uh, the prognosis is not nearly as good. But we have a 90% survival rate if you catch it early. That's, yes, yeah, it's very preventable. So that's very the preventable good. and treatable yes. cancer. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you coming in. Um, now we want to go ahead and get a check of our next weather forecast with meteorologist Paul Diano. Paul, how are you doing?